Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take off in acro mode. Ready? Yep. So there goes the second flight of this design. It was short, just like the first one. But I think this time I'm probably not going to attempt to repair it. I think I'm just going to restart from scratch. I'll change a few of the designs because I found some stuff I don't really like, like the connector and the wings, and I'll probably redo the motor mounts after this failure. I think I'm going to probably 3D print them in a different layer orientation and then make a mold to apply the fiberglass to the outside. I think that way I can help increase the strength on the motor mount and reduce the chance of failures. And then also design some of the parts with maintainability in mind for uh, easier access to replace parts. Because after the last crash, one of the ESCs broke and then I had to cut a hole into the motor mount to get it out. So that was a pain. Um, I'll still be posting a video of some of the repair work I did to get it to this point, but well, you see the outcome, the plane ended up crashing. <laughs> so, I had repaired the motor mounts, put uh, two fresh layers of fiberglass on each side, but I didn't put fiberglass around the edge onto the lip, onto the face of the motor mount, and it looks like that's where the motor ended up ripping out. There were four strips of fiberglass already on it, but after the last flight and crash, uh, the fiberglass might have just been damaged and then vibration from the motor at full throttle on takeoff probably sealed the deal and then just separated it from the front but I'll uh I'll get that fixed I think I'm probably won't have that done for a month or two because I'm gonna have to purchase more fiberglass and resin I don't have enough to finish a whole plane and I think I'm probably gonna change the the wing design a bit and go for a wire cut foam core instead of the 3D printed ribs just to try to get a better surface finish because doing the foam strips left uh, some imperfections in a few areas. I'll probably end up trying to do a bit more mold work too to get the get the composites a little bit better and then I'll probably also have to test all the electronics because I think after this crash some of them probably a bit more damaged than I'm used to. But other than that, uh, it flew until it didn't, so that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll get it fixed up and try again. I like this design, and I want to actually see it fly. So we'll see how it how it ends up in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.